What's up guys, this is Crafty Fox, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build a Ferromex. Now this is a GE Evolution Series 44 AC diesel locomotive, and this is uh, pretty much what it looks like. You know, I got inspired to make this because I was watching some YouTube videos of like this Russian guy uh, freight hopping in Mexico, and there was a lot of Ferromexes in that video. So yeah, this is uh, pretty much uh, what it looks like. I know uh, the Ferromex, uh, this is supposed to be like dark green, but there's not really a uh, good green color, like dark green color for this. So I used uh, black wool instead. You know, at least it's kind of light. It's lighter than the black concrete, which I don't even have around me. But yeah, it's lighter than that. So I think this is what it should look like. So yeah, uh, let's get started on this train. So first thing I'm going to do is take a great concrete, go right on top of the ta on the tracks, add a two by three, add one to the top sides like this. Underneath it, let's add a stone brick stairs like so. Then uh, let's go to the middle part. Uh, we're gonna make this uh, 34 blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. And let's do the same thing that we did in the front to the back. Making this face. And then let's add a coupling right here in the middle and tripwire hooks for the air brakes. Let's uh, do the same thing in the front. And let's add our secondary wall right here. Skip this block here and add a two by uh, five like this. Add a block right here in the middle. Same thing on the other side. And this is just for uh, the stairwell. And for the stairwell, we're gonna use a stone slab for that. So let's add that right now. Go do the same thing on the front. And uh, once we're done with that, we can take out our... <laughs> Actually, we need to fill this in there first. We're going to make this part, this middle part, uh, three blocks wide. Then we can add the wheels because we don't even have anything up here. Yeah, let's do our other side. Alright, so then we can add uh, hoppers right here. We're going to add two hoppers per each wheel, so uh, one hopper, skip a block, two hopper, three hopper, okay. And the middle of the hoppers are a uh, stone brick slab, so let me add that right now. Uh, we can leave this one alone. And let's go to the back. Repeat again. <sighs> then add our uh, stone slabs, stone brick slabs. And this middle part, we're going to skip this block here, add uh, three blocks of concrete, gray concrete right there. Same thing in the front. And then we're going to connect the two sides together like this. Same thing on this side. And then let's add uh, stone brick st uh, stairs upside down on the bottom layer on the sides, like this. Then we're going to go over here, take gray concrete, add uh, two blocks here, go to the other side, three blocks there. Uh, then we're going to add stone brick stairs right here, two of them on both sides. The middle part will be, uh, <laughs> it looks like this quartz slab, so let me add that. Well, on the other side, we're just going to use uh, gray concrete for that. And uh, let's connect the stripe. There's is like a white band going across the locomotive. A lot of locomotives have this, so let me add it. So it's just your uh, typical evolution series. Alright, so then after we do that, uh, let's go right here towards the front and add a 2x3 of red concrete. Add one to the very top and one on the bottom. So it actually looks like a pyramid. 
There is supposed to be like two of these stripes, but there's not enough room to fit them. So I just made uh, one of these stripes so you can kind of imagine what it looks like. So the stripe is black wool, like that, three blocks long. And the middle part, there is a special X. So to make that, uh, we're going to take a red banner. Then we're going to make a diagonal using an insect. And then take that banner and add a diagonal going the other direction so we have a X shape. Okay, so we take the X, put that right there, right there in the middle, and then we're going to take uh, acacia wood stairs, just add it alongside the tip of the triangle. Then we're going to add a uh, red carpet on top of this in the corner, and then a acacia wood slab right here. Then we're going to make another triangle right here for the hood, so let's do that right now. And extend that to where the windows are. So the windows, uh, they're just going to be a black stained glass block. Two of them with a red concrete pillar in the middle. And let's do this side too. Let's add a pillar right here. And uh, we're going to take a quartz block. Just add two of them right here, both sides. Just, just for the numbers. And then a black stained glass pane for the side uh, windows and the side view mirror is an iron bar right here sticking out. Alright so then let's add another um, red concrete pillar right there and that should be the end of the cap. So for the roof part let's just fill in this middle three with red concrete like this and there is uh, these uh, white boxes on top we ought to make that. I'm going to use uh, weighted pressure plate for that so two of them right here skip a block another one right there then on the sides of that we're going to add uh, acacia wood stairs like so then we're going to take a sign add that to the front for the number plates all right and then there's going to be the fences so let's add that right now i'm going to take birch fence and acacia fence so in the middle two two blocks tall acacia fence and then uh, birch fence on the outermost part same thing on the back but then there is also the fence right here so that's gonna be wow I use like <laughs> three different fences here okay I'm not even sure which one I should use because I'm already using oh this is confusing Oh well, I'll just fix it right now. I think these are supposed to be the same color, but kind of mix them up. All right, so I'll just add a birch fence right here. And then uh, let's go back to the cab. Uh, we can fill in this area here with red concrete. Just fill in to the back of the cab. Same thing on the other side. And on this side, there is like this bedrock vent right below the first window on the side right here. So we're going to add that. And then let's add the lights. So the lights are uh, item frame and wow, this inventory is really full. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, so we're going to add lights right here. Item frame with white stained glass block before. You know, I never saw this before. My whole inventory is full. I don't even have anything to add. Okay, so then we're going to take, um, what are we going to do? Fence or ladder. I keep on saying this is a fence because it does look like a fence, but uh, two ladders right here on the side. So it is a little asymmetrical. And after we do that, let's go uh, to the back. Uh, we're going to add this uh, black wool, two block tall, like an arrow shape. And then skip a block here, another pillar, skip a block pillar, skip a block pillar same thing on both sides and between these pillars we're going to add some vents so I'm going to take bedrock just fill this in all right so then uh, right here there's a box on this side so <laughs> to do that there is also like uh, this design here they really like these lines uh, so there's going to be two black walls here it's going to go diagonal like that then it's going to boomerang back on this side but it's going to be inward sort of like this 
and for the other side it's a little bit different we have like this box right here and then it goes inwards so it's like the same design just contoured to the playing field I don't know what that means but yeah <laughs> and then we're gonna add a uh, red concrete two blocks here and then just fill in this area so like it's a box now while the other side it's uh, four blocks so one two three four like that and the top layer it's pretty much just red concrete inside like around it like this trying to add that the middle part oh wait there's also another layer right here so red concrete there and then I guess we could fill in the middle th yeah we could fill in the middle part with red concrete and then there's gonna be some vents so on this side, this is going to be three bedrocks, uh, then a black wall right here, then another bedrock, while on the other side there is one bedrock, red, and then two bedrocks, and then red, then the last bedrock right there. Alright, so after we do that, uh, we can take black wool, just fill in this area. Then we can take our uh, red carpet and add a 2 by 3 right here. Then black carpet for this line to connect. And then a uh, red carpet row and then one red carpet right here. And then we're going to take black carpet and make a C shape like this. Okay, so apparently this side is supposed to be black wool. So yeah, that should be what it looks like. And then after that, there is another brick uh, stairs right here. Three blocks. <laughs> it's a long tutorial. Okay. So then let's add the door banners before I forget that. So it's pretty easy. Uh, we're just going to take... Whoa, I don't want to place that there. We're just going to take a red banner. Add a... Or actually, wait a minute. It's a black banner. I don't even have my materials right. So we're going to take, uh, let's see, red, rose, red, and then we need a black banner. So put the black banner in the middle and make a rose red border around it. And then we're going to take that banner and add a 2 by 3 of rose red on the bottom. And that's how you get our door banner. So let's add that right here at the back of the cab. Okay, so then <laughs> we're gonna add red. Yeah, we're gonna add a layer right here above this area with uh, red concrete, two blocks tall. Go all the way around. And then we're gonna add, it looks like, just, just one more. Just extend it by one like this. And then there's gonna be, um, <laughs> in the back some fa uh, some signs right there for the number plates and there is also a twin light at the very top I'm gonna use birch fence gate open that up and then <laughs> what are we gonna do I guess we'll just connect these two the black wool which is supposed to be dark dark green but this is the closest we can get to that color. Alright, so after we do that, uh, we're going to add a uh, black wool right here. Because this sort of looks like an arrow itself. And the other side, yeah, it's already an arrow. Okay, so after we do that, what do we do? Let's add uh, some more red concrete right here just add I guess to this point add three then we're gonna have like our little ferromix uh, banner which is a uh, block of quartz and cyan terracotta so we're gonna make quartz skip a block quartz skip a block quartz and 
every other block pretty much and the middle part is the lettering so I'm going to use cyan for that so it kind of like looks like it's mixed together and then we're going to add a layer of black wool in the middle just fill this in and you can also fill in this top part as well all right so then uh, we're going to add a donut shape with the nether brick uh, slabs right here donut in the middle is a dark oak fence gate for the horn then there's going to be another uh, row of nether brick stairs right here and then there is this uh, bedrock I mean not the bedrock I'm losing my mind here it's black wool and it looks like it's six blocks or five blocks long so five blocks one two three four five uh, go extend it to the back then I'm going to take out these two blocks add a bedrock right there and there is also another vent that uh, pops up I'm going to use iron trap door for that right here in the front alright so then uh, there is going to be this part right here that sticks out so that is uh, three nether brick stairs like this do it on both sides and then we're going to take a black hole, fill that in the middle part all the way to the back. Then we're going to take another brick stairs, just uh, line up these edges like this. Right back, there is one right here at the very bottom. Alright, so after we do that, we're going to add uh, one another brick uh, slab right here sides and also uh, two in the back like this Then this top layer is just all nether brick slabs so let's uh, connect this area up. while the bottom part it's going to be uh, two acacia wood slabs and then stairs for the rest same thing on this side two and then stairs for the rest okay cool so after we do that let's add uh, some more stuff like the <clears throat> this little diagonal of the railing right here I'm going to use another brick uh, stairs for that and then let's add the actual railing so we're going to take another brick uh, fence just add it every other block like this till we reach the back same thing on the other side well, almost until we reach the box. Then it's going to be a little bit tricky. So it's going to go up by one and then diagonal. So up by one, diagonal up. Right there. Alright, so then we can take our string and add that between the fences. And actually, this part, it's uh, going to be another brick uh, slab right there. Like a little bit of detail. That's why I noticed with the Ferramex. And yeah, let's just continue these uh, strings across. I feel like my S's are weird now. Shh. They sound like they're whistling. Okay. Then we're going to take out a black carpet. Add that for the railing across. Make it all uh, connect. Make it look good. This could be the final step, although... This happened a lot like I usually miss something and then I finish the video and then I realize why I did why I didn't do so I hope that doesn't happen for this video all right so uh, let's uh, take a look around at this ferromex um, so yeah that's uh, how you make the Mexican ferromex GE ES 44 AC you know that evolution series diesel locomotive I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I know I did making my first Mexican train, yeah. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and if you do, remember to hit that like button below and subscribe if you haven't already because I will be uploading more train tutorials in the future, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.